Okay, so some people have been asking about the annotation. Um, what, what I'm going to do is just the first few slides will show you an example of a previous pupil's work where she got an A star and she tended to write in extended writing for her annotation. Um, you don't have to do it in that way. I will break down also how you can break it into smaller chunks and do it bit by bit. So long as you are discussing and analysing the development of your work and you're showing uh, evaluation, the analysis of what you're doing, how you can improve it and showing that you can improve the way you use materials, either way is fine. So here in the first slide, um, the pupil has written about portraiture in general, which was her topic that she chose. Here in the second slide, she started to talk about artist work that she was exploring. In this case, the artist work Glenis Core, how she used colour and how she also used gold as a contrast to the colour while introducing her portraiture into that style of experiment. As you can see, she experimented with different styles of painting and she talked about the development of that within her work. She also talked about how she wanted to develop colours. She analysed how well the use of colour was going and compared it to that of the artist and talked about how she could further develop it using other materials. Again here, the pupil is experimenting with different types of use of paint and colour, making the palette warmer and darker here, while still referencing artists' work like Delaney, which you can see on the sheet. I've tried to include close-ups of the annotations so that you can read exactly what she has said as an example. As you can see here, the pupil has clearly explored different colourways. This is similar to work we saw on the previous page where she tried tones of blue. Here, however, she's using more warm, earthy colours, again though, inspired by the artist's work directly and talking about the relationship of her work compared to the artist and evaluating how well it's gone. This pupil did have more work than we've seen, but I've just kept it so you can see how she specifically developed colour, use of materials and how she talked about that in her work towards the final piece which we see here. You can see that she's included all the best parts of her work and put them together in a well thought out composition, again inspired by the artist and clearly thought out and developed. Okay, so she had quite sophisticated annotation. I've broken it down more than that because not everyone's going to be aiming for an A star. So here I've tried to put some centre starters, trying to make your work not sound too repetitive, trying to think about how you can use the different starter sentences while clearly analysing and evaluating your work. So what we're aiming for is not descriptive writing, just saying what you have done, but basically saying how well it's gone, how you could improve it and things you would like to change and how you will develop your work in the future. OK, so I've included some keywords to help you with not repeating the same words, you know, constantly throughout your work, saying, you know, trying to avoid things like I did this because it makes it stand out. You know, try to use something a little more descriptive. I've included some keywords here for shape, form, space, tone, pattern, texture, line and colour. You can obviously add your own, but just to give you a starting point to think about how you want to describe your work in detail. OK, so I've included here a more simple example of how you may annotate a piece of work. There's not quite such extended writing because you may prefer instead of having a piece of extended writing on a sheet, you might want to have paragraphs talking about each piece of work instead. So I've tried to include here how you might go uh, you know, about that. I really would try and annotate your work as you go along because there's nothing worse than getting to the end of your coursework and having to go back and record annotations for every piece of work that you've done. Again, if you have any questions, or you have anything, you know, if you've done some writing on the computer, you could send it to me and I can help you with how to develop that annotation.